Good evening everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, basically we're back with you today for another portfolio update. It's been quite a busy week guys, it's a lot has a lot has happened. I've, I wanted to get this I wanted to do this video basically a couple of days ago, probably Friday, but I've just not had the chance to do it yet. But what I want to go over today in this video, a few topics. But the, the main topic of this video will be the ongoing trade war and how it's affected my portfolio over the last week. How much my stocks have fallen and obviously they have fallen with all the ongoing trade war with China and Donald Trump and all that and his tweets. Basically, he's um, planned a fresh batch of tariffs for, for Chinese imports by an extra 10%. The Chinese yuan has weakened over, for, um, past the dollar for the first time since 2009, which has basically meant Donald Trump has then called them out saying they are devaluing their own currency. So yeah, a lot of, a lot of stuff's going on, guys. The S&P 500's down around 3%. So yeah, but I'm going to go into my portfolio now and just share with you. Just to, I'm not going to go through in much detail, just basically show you how much my portfolio currently is and how much it's dropped over the last week or so. So I'm just going to go into my free trade account now. As you can see, it has dropped a significant amount. As you can see, in the last seven days, it was at £3,150, and it's dropped by nearly £150, around about £130, £138, I'd say, something like that. But yeah, it's been very up and down, but it's been generally going down. Last day, it's dipped even more. So yeah, guys, all it does affect the portfolio, all this stuff, but just as I done my last video saying how much profit I'd made, and then this goes and happens. So I'm still in, I'm still in the green with my profit, but obviously it's probably been cut in half, which is it's the name of the game. To be fair, I'm, all, I'm I'm in it for the long haul anyway. So let's just get into my stocks now and just show you how much they've um, fallen over last week. So first is Verizon. Last seven days they've dropped around one point six percent. <clears throat> I own eight shares, average price of forty five pounds and eighty two pence, and my investment overall is down around one point five percent. Next is AT and T. Last seven days they have had a bit of a dip, not by not too much. AT and T haven't been affected that much by it. There's quite a lot more of my stocks which have been hit worse. I own 12 shares with average price of £24.92 and I'm up around 10% overall with my investment. Next we have a Coca-Cola, another one who's been performing quite well for me recently. Last seven days they've down around 1.5%. I own seven shares with average price of £36.96 and I'm up around 15% on uh, my investment with Coke. Next is Advid. These have tanked quite a bit over the last month or so. As you can see there, down 9%. And then if it down a further 1.8% over the last seven days. I own five shares with average price of £58.53. And I'm currently down around 9% on my investment with Advid. Good time to dollar cost average, I feel, with these. I can't really buy any at the moment, but I will be definitely purchasing some more with my next round of investing. Next is Starbucks. These have also done well for me since I've bought them. They're not really, they've had, you can see they've had a bit of a dip, but they're still in the green. Down down to um, 2% today, though. I own three shares of Starbucks with the average price of £73, and I'm up around 5% on my investment with Starbucks. Next on the list we have is Colgate. Last seven days you can see they're in the red by around a percentage. I own four shares of Colgate with the average price of £57.79. I'm down around 2.39%. Next is Microsoft. Another one of my new, new stocks. You can see there in the red, down 4% for today, £5.88. Over the last seven days, obviously, you can see how much they have fallen from the green into the red. I own two shares with the average price of £112.24. They are down around 4.38%. Next 
Next guys we have is Johnson & Johnson. Last seven days in the reds, down, down around percent, not even a percent, sorry. They have dropped one, uh, one percent, one more percent a day out of the green into the red. I own two shares with the average price of £105.50 and my investment's up around 0.66%. <coughs> Excuse me. Next on the list, guys, we have his Ford. Another one he's been forming, not the best over the last month. Down around 3.2%. I own 25 shares with the average price of £8.12. I'm down around 7% on my investment with Ford at the moment. Next is Imperial Brands. We talked about obviously the share price going up because they bought back some of their own shares, which then increased the high, increased uh, the share price. Last seven days they have dropped around five point five percent. Now at twenty pounds and seventy four pence. I own six shares with the average price of twenty pounds and twenty pence, and I'm up around three percent nearly on my investment with Imperial Brands. Next on the list we have is uh, Royal Dutch Shell, down 10% in the last 7 days. I own 5 shares with the average price of £25.04 and I'm down around 6% on my investment. And you can see guys the pattern is there, literally over the last 7 days pretty much every single stock has been down. That's just how it is I'm afraid at the minute but next we have is a bond, US corporate bond. These haven't been really affected. By all this that's been going on, which is good. Still in the green for the last seven days. One of the few that actually are. I own two shares, average price of £42.08, up around 7%. I want to pay in dividend as well, which is good. Next on the list we have is Barrett. Another stock has been performing well for me recently. Last seven days, though, they have dipped around 5.5%. I own 11 shares of Barrett with the average price of £5.93. I'm up around 5.5% on my investment with Barrett. Next we have is Aviva, who have dipped quite a lot over the last month, especially you can see there, but we'll just focus on the next the last seven days. Down around 6%. I own 14 shares with the average price of £4.12. Down around 6% on my investment. Next up is BP. Last seven days, they're into the reds by around 2%. I own 10 shares, average price of £5.52, down around 7% with BP. Next up is Bank of America. Last seven days, they've dipped around, well, they dipped 5% overall into the red, around 3%. Uh, I own two shares with the average share price of £21.96 and but I'm still up on my investment of around 4% which is good on Bank of America. Next up is Wells Fargo. Dipped around 1.5% into the red. I own... Sorry, it's a, that's a bit glitchy at the minute this app for some reason guys but give me a second there you go. I own one share with the average share price of £35.88 and I'm up around 5% still on my investment with um, Wells Fargo, as you can see. Next up on the list we have is National Grid. Last seven days, around 1.6% in the red. I own three shares with the average price of £8.22. I'm up around 2.41% with my investment with National Grid, which is good. Another one in the green still. Next up is Taylor Wimpy, down 16% in the last seven days, and over 5.34% today. I own 14 shares with the average price of £1.81. And I'm down on around nearly 20% on this one. Next, Lloyds, another one similar to Taylor Wimpy, I've had a bit of a hit over the last month and seven days, especially. <laughs> Down 9%, probably 10%, as you can't quite see it there. I own 39 shares of Lloyd's, average share price of 0.62 pence, 62 pounds, sorry. 
I'm down around 18% on these as well. If you're sorry guys, if you just see if it's um, freezing on your screen, I do apologize, the app's freezing for some reason, I'm not sure why, but I do apologize. Next up is commercial property. I um, They're on, down around 8% for the last seven days. I own 16 shares, average price of £1.18, and they're down around 10% on my investment overall. Next is Vodafone. I know stock has been doing well for the last month, really, for me. As you can see, they're up massive 10%. Over the last uh, seven days, though, they have dipped around 3%. But still in the green, which is good. I own five shares, the average price of £1.35, and I'm up around 10%, which is good. And the last one on my list is Renewables Investment Trust. These are down around 1.5% over the last seven days. I own five shares with average price of £1.28 and they're down around 2% on my investment. So yeah, guys, there's the um, the portfolio update. As you can see, it has tanked quite a bit over the last seven days of all that's been going on with Trump. But another, another point I wanted to get across as well is... Um, couple of good points really well not good points but i have two dividends which haven't actually been paid yet i expected a dividend from verizon and at&t which i contacted the free trade team and um, basically it's when if they've not got a hold of the money which from the companies obviously they can't pay it out to investors just yet which is understandable but should be resolved hopefully in the next couple of days or so so yeah that's another I think I'll be expecting around five pounds from each, maybe. I'm not too sure, which is good. And also, as you can see there, you'll see a basic account with a number in it. And if you're wondering what that is, basically, if you sign somebody up to free trade, you both get a free share. So they finally get released the free share, but it's been put into my basic account, which I don't use. And the free share that I did receive was Weatherspoons. But my plan with that is wait till it gets into the green, sell it, transfer the money into my um, investment ISA and then just invest it into something else, which you know, that's the smartest thing to do because whatever spoon, it's not really a company I would like to invest in. Don't really, the dividend's probably not quite good enough for what I expect, but it's good that free trader giving out the free shares. So yeah, as you can see there guys, it has dipped quite a bit during this video as well, but Hopefully, I hope it all goes well soon. But that's it for today's portfolio update, guys. If you could uh, give the video a like and please subscribe to my channel, that would be greatly appreciated. See you soon, guys. Goodbye.